And here we are in the Volume.com studio, hanging out here on the, the day after Music City Mayhem. But, you know, there, there's still stuff to do. There's still people to talk to, right? It's still the Music City, and we are joined right now uh, by somebody you might have actually just seen uh, doing a show last night with the, the Fruit Bats. Esther Rose is here. Hello. Howdy. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I appreciate you. I know you got a, a precious day off today, and you're spending <laughs> some of it with us, so thank you for that. My pleasure. Is, is this really a day off? I know you played last night. You're playing in Atlanta. Is this a, are you? Technically uh, it is because we just went and had like a huge lunch, which for me qualifies. We went to 210 Jack and had ramen. Well, Shout there, out. Well, there you, there you go. Shout out to 210 Jack. All right. I, I, I think that's officially a day off. Yeah. Then. You're, you're eating too well for it not exactly. to be. All right. The, uh, the album Safe to Run, your first, your not your first, your fourth LP uh, just came out like a, a week ago. Right? Yeah. It's our first release with New West Records. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right on. Yeah. So are they, are they treating you well? And I say that knowing Joel's here. Are they treating you well? Did yeah. You, they're treating us really they're well. They're really good to you. You know, Joel's a great guy. <laughs> Great guy. Oh, he just walked by. There we go. <laughs> so does it? Is it kind of weird now? Because I know the whole thing, like leading up to an album, it's just anticipation and anticipation and hand wringing. And now it's been out for a week. How are you feeling about it now? Well, I think like the that final twenty four hours before it came out, I felt like I was gonna just give birth in my kitchen. Okay. Um, maybe like burst into flames from okay. all the anticipation. Just rule of thumb: don't do those at the same time. Okay. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> so now, yeah, it's just incredible. I mean, you know the process. Writing songs, like it takes some of these songs that took, you know, two, three years um, from the writing moment to fo folks finally listening. So right. now it's just what's in the inside of my brain is on the outside and it's really nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, and I, and I just I, I just happen to notice you, you happen to be wearing a guitar. So I feel like, you know, we should probably play some music. Sure, some who, now, who, who have you got with you here? Please welcome Jordan Hyde on electric guitar. Hello, Jordan Hyde on electric guitar. Hello. <laughs> the song is called Chet Baker. Well, Welcome to the middle of the road, rock and roll, and I try on my way in thick skin. Memory I've kept under lock and key, suddenly coming back to me, back. Say 
Rose live on Lightning 100 here in the Volume.com studio and on Volume.com. Stuff from the Safe to Run LP. It's been out for a week. If you don't have it, um, you, you've ruined an entire week of your life. I'm, I'm just going to say, this is a really good album. Oh, thank you. And I hope I don't sound surprised when I'm saying that, but it's a really good oh, I appreciate album. appreciate it. Where'd you make it? Um, well, I, <coughs> I used to live in New Orleans for a mm-hmm. really long time. And so when I recently moved, well, I moved to New Mexico two years ago. Okay. So half of the album was made with my new coll- collaborators um, in New Mexico, and then we flew back to New Orleans and kind of like made a sonic bridge from past to present. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's nice. Very, very cool. And I was, I was reading, I was getting ready for you to come and hang out with us. So you kind of gave yourself a challenge, and, and tell me if I'm saying this the right way, is, is the goal or the mission not to repeat chord progressions on the entire album? Is that what I'm understanding? Um... It's sort of more like, okay, so here's the story. Okay. Um, I started playing guitar as an older person, okay. 28. Okay. I didn't know I was going to be doing this. I'm very glad that I found this um, path in my life that I picked up the phone um, to songwriting. But for most of my life, I was just kind of gathering art supplies. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So <laughs> my whole like reason for being in this is to like surprise myself and engage with my mind. And okay. so when I write, ev- like every song is like, how do I say it? It's like an ecosystem. Like I'm not going to do the same thing. So it's not like I'm like writing new chords or something. Right. Like, I'm not going to put them together the same way. From the from the writing and the construction standpoint of it, you're saying you're you're not going to repeat. You're you're absolutely not going to repeat. I'm yourself. not going okay. to. Okay. It's like a it's a journey, and maybe at some point I'll like get all the way through it, and I'll start over at the bottom. Yeah. Um, but as of now, I think I'm like maybe like, yeah. Okay. Circling. And, and I love, and I, I I can tell you, you you put a lot of thought into this kind of stuff because I also read uh, last week, it was the conversation on Talk House mm-hmm. with uh, it was you and uh, was it Alinda from uh, Hooray from the Riff Rap, and you started talking about favorite chords and and different, and it's just it's so cool to hear somebody like get that into that part of music. I like that. That's well, cool. I think Talk House is that article is really fun because I wanted to ha- like when artists interview each other, mm-hmm. we can talk about whatever weird stuff we're Uh into. So I was like, just asked her questions um, that I like would want people to ask me. (laughs) Yeah, right on. And and that's where I found out too, that you'd be happy to take off and join Mapache, which I think a lot of people in their right mind would. Yeah, dream band. Yeah. I mean, well, like... (laughs) I want to be in a party band. Maybe we already, maybe, I don't know, Jordan. What do you think? Is this a party yeah, band? We're becoming a party band. You good? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you can you can be you know people think party band they think Van Halen. You don't have to like you know be be like oh, I have all the trappings of a party band to be a party band. I wouldn't think. Well, I love just like strumming, rhythm, guitar, and singing harmonies. Okay. So yeah, Mapache is like. Right on. Yeah. That's so cool. We're, we're talking to <laughs> Esther Rose right now. Um, you saw Esther, probably if you were out at the Fruit Bat show last night, you saw Esther. And then uh, I saw, you've got a very busy year. You're pretty much, like, you're gone to like, August out playing shows, aren't you? I think they just announced a bunch of shows in August, too. So. Yeah. Check, yeah. You might want to check your website. There's a bunch out there now. That's right. Yeah. I'll check my there, website. There you go. Check your website. <laughs> um, and I know one of them, too, if people didn't get a chance to see you last night, uh, you're going to be over uh, at D's Lounge coming up uh, June, I think it's June the 26th. You're going to be out there. Yeah, I love Dee's. Yeah. Dee's is actually, I think, one of the first places that I played outside of New Orleans with my own band. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like just a great roadhouse. And we're, yeah, we're looking forward to that show, especially because we'll be on the road with the Deslons. Okay. One of my favorite boy bands in the universe. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I want to talk to, um, and, and people, anytime somebody comes over here, I always wind up talking about the videos that people put out because I, I'm just I'm just old enough to remember like the golden age of music video and that just still means so much to me. 
Um, and you've got a couple that are really good. Tell me about the spider video. Ooh, okay. Um, I shot that with my friend um, who is a director. Uh, he runs, Anthony Simpkins runs Gems okay. on VHS. Okay. I think they're like, their office is very close to here. I think you're ringing a bell, yeah. Yeah. So Anthony, I've done a lot of like live sessions with him um, and he hates doing music videos, but he was like, if we go to this MMA fight in Murfreesboro, like I will shoot your music video. It was okay. like pretty much <laughs> like, it was the terms, um, which for me, I was game because I love martial arts. I, was, I, was, I mean, are you, are you a fan of MMA and everything? Like That was a new experience for me, Okay, but I'm into fitness and I like athleticism. Okay. And I can and I hung out like we were there for twelve hours. I was also helping him shoot, um, which is, so he's also so he's there like shooting the fights. He's shooting the fights because that's his community. He he does okay. MMA and kickboxing okay. with these guys. So that's why we had permission to be there. Okay. Um, and I had like his little what do they call it? Like a little GoPro kind of thing, something like that, or it was little. Did yeah. you have a, were you holding a camcorder? At a one camcorder, point? Like, a, like an old school. That's like right. A, yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. it's in the video. Yeah, yeah. But um. Yeah, we were there for like 12 hours. I had two Red Bulls and saw just like so much emotion. My idea for the video was like, Anthony, I'll be in a boxing rink because it's like, it's like such a who's going to win kind of heartbreak song. Right. Um, and he's like, let's just go to an MMA fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's get the same thing, only we're not going to run the risk of anyone like, you know, fighting you. Exactly. Basically. He wants yeah. to fight me now, though. He does. <laughs> well, you know, you, you have to do it in front of a camera. It doesn't count, right? Okay. You got to make sure, like, that's your next video right there. Yeah. That's production value right there. He's ripped. It's going to be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Hanging out. Well, no, wait a minute. See, because I saw the video, for, I, I saw the Safe to Run video, and I know for a fact you throw a mean karate kick. Oh, yeah. Maybe just at the gas station. I don't know, but that's I've right. seen you kick. I mean, yeah. I, I, I would be scared. I'm just saying. <laughs> We've got Esther Rose here in the Volume.com studio with us on Lightning 100. Uh, the Safe to Run album, it is out now. It is so good. I'm going to strongly recommend you, you need to hear this album. And I would love, if we could, to maybe hear another song live sure. here in the studio. What do you want to do? Let's play Dream Girl. Mm -hmm. One, two, three.
live on Lightning 100 and Volume.com. Here from the Volume.com studio. The album Safe to Run. It is out now. It's in all your favorite music getting places, so you should probably go to one of those places and get that music. Also got a show coming up uh, June 26th. going to be uh, over at D's.